Hello and welcome to Assamese Defense Analysis. Friends, we all know that a war has been waged between Russia and Ukraine for the last several days. Russia has taken military action in many parts of Ukraine. Against this military action, European countries including America have imposed many sanctions on Russia. Due to these sanctions, many problems are being created in the Russian economy. Countries like China, UAE, India, Saudi Arabia, Israel have supported Russia against the US imposed sanctions. Friends, in today's video, we will discuss about India's position in the war between Russia and Ukraine. It has been almost five weeks since Russia began its assault on Ukraine, killing so many peoples and displacing more than two million. The ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine may impact certain high-frequency indicators like financial markets, exchange rate and crude oil price in the short time. Beside generating a humanitarian crisis and sending shockwaves around the world, Russian President Vladimir Putin's actions in Ukraine have also put the foreign policies of the countries in the spotlight. On the global stage, India has abstained five times so far from condemning Russia's actions at the United Nations. Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, has held talks with both Putin and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky and called for an immediate cessation of violence. India's stance towards Russia on the Ukraine war is not new. In 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea, India had maintained neutrality at the United Nations. India's foreign policy has evolved from non-alignment to embarrassing strategic autonomy in defense and security policies. New Delhi has long viewed Moscow as its most reliable and trusted partner. Indian leaders often speak of Russia as India's closest and most reliable friend. Russia, India's main strategic partner, exported arms worth 6.6 .6 billion US dollar between 2016 and 2020 to the South Asian nation. However, India-Russia bilateral trade at 8.1 billion US dollar between April 2020 and March 2021 is not as high as India-European Union trade, which stood at 62.8 billion euro in the same period. India is in a unique position as it's one of the few countries which has good relation both USA and Russia. India has not criticized Russia directly, but it's not that India has turned a blind eye to the suffering of Ukrainians. It has adopted a balancing approach. It talked strongly about territorial integrity at the United Nations Security Council and it was clearly meant to highlight Ukraine's plight. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat. Vande Matram.